Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about the new Tundra Island update and so many epic things. And I will let you know about some things you don't. And some things you know. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more awesome videos. And click the bell icon to be notified anytime I post a video. Trust me, I won't leave any detail. And if you do all that your tundra island or would turn green and you'll be able to see your island very well. Yeah enough with the talking let's get into the video. First off we should all know that we only have 7 new bounds and based on what I've seen they are all overpowered. Earlier today I woke up and saw that Stray posted this on the discord. He gave us the steps at which we could get all the 7 bounds. We are going to look at it in 2's and explain each feature and easy ways to obtain it. We are going to start with the ghost bound and the light bound. The ghost bound is basically this bound that turns you invisible at times. And to be more specific this bound turns you invisible for 2 seconds in every 20 seconds that pass by. This is nice when fighting. And when invincible you would be invulnerable to attacks but take note it only lasts for 2 seconds. This bound drops from the bound next to Blackbeard. This is going to be as hard as farming for his soul. Only harder. But that is the way to get it. Now let's move to the light bound. This bound is also hard. You can only find it in chests. And it is a 1 to 1000 chance. I spent 3 hours on different servers in the Tundra Island and looking for it but I did not find it. Any player hit by the huge range of this bound gets blind. In other words, the player's screen would go blank for some seconds. That is pretty OP. Next we are moving to the sea bound. This bound needs a whole fix because I have been farming for hours and I kept getting the venom bound from the assassin. This is a PvP fruit and can only be used when you are fruitless. Sad. Strength bound. This is gotten by defeating the headless king. This is very hard and has a decent drop rate at 1 out of random 8 kills of the headless king. I don't really exhaust my stamina so I won't need this bound. But it is okay. Snow bound. This is as rare as the light bound. They both drop from chests and have the same drop rate. This is very overpowered and is also a stun technique. When they are stunned then you strike. I also searched but did not get it. Death Bound A death bound is the strongest bound made right now. It deals the highest damage but short range and the drop rate is pretty slim. You must be really lucky to get it. To spawn the inferno 20 times means to get the his soul 40 times plus other souls. That would be a workload. But isn't it worth it? Impact bound. An impact bound is also chest bound. But drops in the silver chests which cannot be found in the tundra island. In my next video I would talk about all the chests. This bound flings them upwards and deals damage. Windbound only flings them sideways and does not deep damage. It can be found anywhere on the map except the Tundra Island. Fishman repraised a 50,000 pirate or marine bounty. A new music track was added. And an updated Tundra Island I wanted to show you guys my research and what I found in the new island but that would be in our next chest video and the Tundra Island got moved a little bit. That's nice and that is all for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Comment all the bounds you got and how this video helped you. Suggest my channel to your friends and also subscribe to give me the motivation to post more videos. And until next time guys. Peace out.